low at this point. Sean, this one still looks very interesting with the radar velocities. All right, thank you. And uh, yeah, that's that's the storm I'm a little concerned about. That rotation is heading right toward Kokomo, Angela, uh, and showing strong signs of rotation with this. So uh, hopefully you have heeded the warnings there because um, as we look at a uh, different vantage point, this is showing the hook that is not that far away at all from from Kokomo, uh, likely very close to New London and West Middleton, heading toward the east. So Kokomo, can't stress it enough, you have to be in your safe spots until this storm can move by you. I will do another storm track if you haven't caught them, um, and we're going to put the, put the marker on here. This is going to come very, you know, uh, let's put it at about uh, 25, 30 miles an hour there. Uh, so again, uh, I suggest by roughly around 320 is when this is thing is going to be uh, pushing into Kokomo here. So um, we've got that. There was actually a tornado yes. watch that's been issued uh, on top of this, but this is the most immediate concern in our viewing area right now. On top of this tornado warning, I might add. Uh, so we've got that. We've got uh, also have severe thunderstorm warning uh, that's just been issued. And I'm going to work down with live Doppler 13 radar um, and also do some analysis on the rotating portion uh, of uh, the storm. I don't see the tight rotation. There's still a, technically a tornado warning, um, but we've got um, a new warning that uh, includes Boone, Hamilton, Hendricks, and Mary, and this is going to go until 345. Um, severe thunderstorm warning. It's going to be the northwestern corner. So here's the deal. Even if we're not going to get tornado action out of this, uh, we still have the capability of getting some, some high wind as well. So that warning, by the way, will We'll go until 345, Angela. Uh, it includes uh, cities like Traders Point and Zionsville and Westfield. So if you've got, if you've got kids that you're going to be that typically may walk home from school, you may have to go pick them up from school, and I assume they'll probably be in their safety safe spots as well. Uh, and the radar is still showing some some strong winds, certainly. Uh, and the rotation, thankfully, at least right now, I don't see it, uh, Angela, being as strong as it was earlier. Sean, I'm glad you pointed out uh, school time, kids getting home from school, kids being let out. Oftentimes when we get weather like this, um, they will hold kids until the weather is past. So don't be surprised if your students, your children are home a little later, especially across the central part of the state. Oftentimes schools will hold students and let the severe weather pass. And Sean, uh, wow. correct. Me. The yellow box confused me, but it is a tornado watch, and it will go until 9 o'clock, and it does include Marion County. So the city of Indianapolis, you are under this tornado watch that was just issued by the Storm Prediction Center until 9 p.m. And, Sean, I heard you moan, so I'm going to go over to you because of what I, what I kind of see out of the corner is my, of my eye is uh, not the cell that now is prompting new severe thunderstorm warnings for uh, parts of Boone and uh, Hamilton counties, but this storm here that... Uh, Again, I can hear you moan. It looks to be intensifying. Yeah, it, yeah. I, I don't like the signs of this. This is um, strong rotation, not far from Kokomo. We were saying roughly around 320. Um, this is cutting, probably cutting across uh, South Dixon Road, West Jefferson Street, so 22, um, and head, unfortunately heading right into the heart of Kokomo. Okay. Um, our news uh, crews will be gathering information up there, but if you're watching us in Howard County, we need you to take the action that we've been stressing for the last, seems like the last 20 minutes now, as this storm is still showing some uh, impressive radar rotation. And what I mean by that, and we, just to stress again, uh, we don't show this a lot, only in situations that warrant, but the red that you see on the, the screen there, that's raindrops being blown away from the radar. And where you see the green is being blown toward. And where we get them next to each other is where it's most likely that we are going to have a, um, at the very least you have rotation. But some of this could be down on ground level. Now, uh, coming with that could be also be just some strong wind as well. So either way, um, it's on Kokomo, I think, probably very close right now. Very close to Kokomo and Indiana University at Kokomo. Uh, and it's going to be moving toward the east. So, um, Hopefully this is not on the ground, but we are seeing some, some pretty strong radar indications that it is. John? All right, thank you, Sean. And, and we do have some more damage reports coming in right now. And this is uh, a, another storm cell, the one that is in Montgomery County and parts of Boone County. 
There's a picture of storm clouds. I want to show this to you. First of all, this is southwest of Crawfordsville, and this is the kind of thing that people are seeing out there. And this is right along Route 136. And uh, Angie and, and Sean have been talking about the storm tracking through New Ross, Mace, Crawfordsville. It's a direct line on uh, US 136. There is debris on that road, we're told, and power lines are down. We do not know if that road has been closed, but at the very least, it's going to be difficult traveling in that area for a while because there is debris in that area. Now, we also talked about schools being, uh, schools delaying their release times today. I know for sure that the Zionsville schools are doing that. I know that because I'm a parent and I got that email. They have the students sheltering in place and they are delaying release until the storm passes. And uh, right now we're going to go back to uh, Angela Buckman. There's uh, some more information about that storm cell that's building uh, in Howard County. And? and, John, that important message to parents, and I have a feeling we're going to continue to get more emails like that just to make sure we keep our students safe. Uh, report coming in Funnel Cloud one mile west of Kokomo. This is live Doppler 13 radar showing this storm, and it still has really good indications, not only with the velocities that Sean was showing you, but with the radar itself. If this one is tornado, uh, in this area right over Kokomo. So basically crossing 31 now. If you live anywhere from Galveston to Kokomo to Indian Heights, safe as part of your home right now. Reports of a funnel cloud one mile west of Kokomo. That just into the newsroom. This one is tracking east. So in the path would be anywhere along 35 and south of 35 in yeah, Howard yeah. County. You are under a tornado warning. Greentown, Guy, that would include you. Hemlock as well. Sean, this is a really good, now that you've kind of flattened this out, indication of where that rotation is right near Kokomo right now, getting ready to cross Highway 31. Yeah, it's right. I mean, it's, it's very close here. So uh, this is a city that we had marked uh, easily 20 minutes ago, Angela. So I hope they had the opportunity and, and, and took our words on this. Um, so yeah, you can see it. It's, it's on top of the city, very close, the rotation on top, uh, very close to the city there. Uh, so we'll put a storm track on this. Uh, at this point, it's you know fair to say that it's not that far from uh, from downtown Kokomo. I'm going to expand the map just a little bit here, and we'll we'll kind of play this out because uh, beyond Kokomo, we have to start thinking about Greentown. Okay, if you're watching us there, as well as Taylor, but um, we have crews uh, that are monitoring what's going on up in Howard County.